Hey, how's it going, guys? In this MatPad Live tutorial, we'll learn how to insert annotation in a graph. All right, so an annotation is simply a note or a comment added in a graph. And let's take a look at an example on how to add an annotation in MatPad Live. All right, so here in my Python script, I already pre-wrote some of the uh, code uh, to populate the data points that I want to use. So here, let me go ahead and print the uh, Python script. And from the data points, I have uh, six different corners. The first element is going to be my uh, x values. And the second element is going to be my y values. Now let me go ahead and uh, graph the, the dots. All right, so I'm going to graph, uh, let's do a bar graph. All right, so we have x and y and uh, uh, width value. And for the width, let's set that to five. All right, so here's my bar graph. Now let's say I want to insert an annotation on nodes to point to the uh, minimum value, which is uh, the first bar. And I want to insert a node so a comment that uh, this is the minimum value. <clears throat> And to insert an annotation, we want to reference our, uh, either the plot object or the axis object, depending on which method you use to create the graph. And in this example, I'm using the uh, plot object. All right, so uh, I want to go to the documentation first. And here's the uh, documentation of the annotated method. If we look at the parent object, it's tied to the axis object. All right, so uh, the annotate method has uh, several parameters. The first parameter is the text we want to insert. And the second parameter which is the x and y uh, corner value that you want to insert. And this is where, uh, so imagine that when you insert annotation, there's an invisible uh, rectangle that where you can insert the annotation text. And this is what the uh, x and y corner is going to uh, present, which I'll show you an example uh, in a second. Then we have x and y text parameter, and this is where the location, the text is going to get inserted. Then we have different corner systems that we can uh, use by referencing the x and y corners parameter followed by the uh, corner system. And here's a list of the uh, corner system that you can experiment. And the default corner system is set to data. The data corner system uses the uh, x and y value to figure out where to insert the annotation. All right, so here uh, let's go back to the Python script. I want to insert the annotate method. All right, so the first parameter is going to be the text I want to insert. Let's do uh, main value. And the second parameter is going to be the uh, x and y corner value. And we know the uh, the first value is going to be 10 and 1. So here, uh, let's insert 10 and 1 as the uh, location. And by default, uh, this should be enough to insert a, a basic or minimal annotation object. You know, let's take a look. Oh, so here I'm missing, actually, uh, not missing. I mean, mistyped the parameter value. All right, so this is everything you need uh, to insert an annotation object. And here's our uh, annotation text main value. But notice that here, uh, the location is a little bit off. We need to fix the text location. And there are several ways we can uh, do it. And I always like to start with uh, setting the horizontal alignment uh, value. And for me, I always set this to center. And some of the value you can use is such as left, center, and right. Then we can set the vertical alignment value. And I'll set this to bottom. And some of the value we can use such as top, uh, center, and bottom. Right, so if we look at the uh, modified graph, if we compare the first uh, graph, 
against the second graph. The text is now centered right in the middle, which looks much better. Now I want to insert an arrow shape and I want to uh, move the text right behind the, uh, the arrow. Here, let me show you an example. Now I want to go back to the documentation. Now if I scroll down to uh, arrow properties parameter, and so some of the keys we can uh, reference to modify the arrow shape object. And there are additional um, properties that we can reference. And the arrow shape is using the uh, fancy arrow patch. Uh, here, let's go into the uh, documentation. And it's using this uh, method to control how the shape is being created, which I'll let you to uh, go to the documentation on your own. All right, but for now, I want to go back to the script. All right, so let's say I want to uh, change the shape color, the arrow color to red. So here I'll reference the arrow properties parameter. And this parameter takes a dictionary. And to change the arrow color, here we need to reference the face color key. I want to set the color to red. And I also want to shrink the arrow size by 2%. So here I'll insert 0.2. Uh, 0.02. Now let's take a look. And here notice that we don't have the arrow uh, shape inserted. And that's because right now I'm setting the text and the arrow at the same location. And this will seems get interesting. All right, so here I'm going to set the uh, annotate text location using the XY text parameter. I want to move the text around, let's do uh, 10 and 13. Actually, let's do 15 and 3. All right, so here I'll type 15 and 3. And for the uh, corner system, it's going to be data, so I don't need to uh, specify the corner system type. All right, so this time if I display the graph, and here's my arrow pointing to the uh, first bar. And if we look at the uh, logic behind how the arrow is being uh, inserted, so here the XY parameter set the where the arrow head is going to be. And the XY text parameter is going to insert the line where the text and the R object is located. So if I change the uh, text from 15 to, let's do 60. And we know uh, the minimal y value is going to be six. So if I change the y value to six, then my text is going to be right here. And my arrow is going to basically point into the uh, first bar, the top of the first bar. Here, let me show you, and like that. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video in terms of uh, how to insert annotation. I don't want to go into too advanced because uh, there are so many things you can configure when it comes to inserting an annotation object. But for now, this is everything I'm going to share and hopefully you guys found this video useful.